All right, hey everyone, Dave here with Affordable Door and Gate. Just had to get out of the office, if you know what I mean. So, we're at this job. We're gonna go through this. We're gonna put some pictures in here. This was kind of the job that turned into like, it wasn't that bad. It could have been worse. It could have been better. I wanna show you some stuff though. So first of all, we're working on, we're not working on garage doors, working on the gate. Doot, doot. For some reason, it's supposed to rain all day. We brung all this stuff. I guarantee if I wouldn't have brung all this stuff, the shelter, the umbrella, the rain gear, it would have rained all day. But since I brung it, it's not raining. So that's pretty cool. So let's go through a few things that we can just do better. We can do better. All right, nothing too fancy. An old Osco. I love these gate operators. I love these old gate operators. They just, the cabinets, what's so great about them. I get people all the time. What do you, what do you recommend? What do you recommend? Something with a nice cabinet. That's what I recommend. Okay, so first of all, I don't know where it went. It was sitting around here somewhere, but we have a fuse that goes right there, right there. And I don't think it's over here on the table, but I'm telling you what, I'm gonna have to pause it for a second. I gotta find this fuse. Never seen this done before. And I was like, oh my gosh. I said, I'm not doing it. I said, I'm not gonna do it. So I had to let Caleb run to the store so hang on, what's like it? a dumb dumb? It totally came to me. Caleb's got it. I had him take it to the auto store. So he's looking for a two amp fuse, like the old style um, car fuse. They're really hard to find. <clears throat> um, he said he could find 2.5, he found three. I said, I really wanna go two, so hopefully he comes through and he gets it. If not, we'll go with the 2.5, put a three. But right now, what was the interesting part, I'm gonna put a picture right in here. And what it is, is they took bubble gum wrapper and they wrapped it. I've never seen that done before. And it worked, but I'm not gonna put it on my watch. Um, I don't wanna fry a board. These boards aren't cheap, these green boards. So what did we do today? Well, we did a little above and be extra and beyond. The chain was really sagging. I'll put a picture here. So as I put the chain in I tightened it I had to break the chain I had to take a chunk of chain off the other thing is we put a keypad in today so they didn't have a keypad here so now they got a keypad here nothing too major ground was good nothing in the way um, all our internet is above us so that was good gas lines are all marked out um, Everything's good. We didn't hit nothing, no obstructions. But this was just kind of unforeseen. It's something that we should have in the truck. The problem is I didn't really look. I should have looked through the truck. I'm going to tell them. When I get off this, I'm going to tell them about the truck. Maybe to look. There might be fuses in there. There might not be. But I had them get a few extra things. I wanted a couple of the little forks that go in here. Let me show you. I told them, I said, I want to get these. Those little electrical connectors. And obviously the fuse. And it says right here, it shows that it takes a two amp fuse and then there's that three, but it takes a two. So I don't want to fry this. I don't want it to have the chance of frying. That's not good. I ended up, I cleaned the cabinet. The clean, I don't know why the cabinet had a beer bottle in it. Beer can, had a beer can in it. I vacuumed it out, got it cleaned up. It's just the right thing to do. I'm still waiting obviously to terminate these. These are good, these are good openers. I like them, the Apexes are good too. But you can tell they've had other people. It's like somebody, like, I don't that's obviously keep stuff from coming in. But, you know, that wasn't me. I don't know what this thing is. This has got some wire. To me, it looks like it's like for rain or something because it just comes down and it goes into the dirt. I double, triple check to make sure I didn't whack it. But, I mean, isn't it amazing? All the tools you need. I mean, look at all the stuff you need. I mean, this isn't even, there's still stuff in the van. Oh, it just and adds even, up. I make mistakes. I got these, right? These are the carriage bolts that go on the back side of the keypad, the holder keypad, and the wrong size. They're supposed to be quarter inch, not uh, like half inch bolts. So I know there's some on the van because I bought some at Lowe's to have for extra, thank goodness, because I scraped up what little I had left. So right now we only got one. Let's see how they go. Hey, hey, hey. It's just, you can't always prepare for it all, I'm telling you. You try to do your best, but like this is kind of that reason why I tell you, you know, sometimes um, 
you know, if you spread out too far, stuff will add up. I thought they were turning around because my stuff's hanging out over here. Oh, you can't see it. It's turning away. Right there. I thought they were going to come take it. I was going to say something, but I think they're just going to another house. Got a fridge on there. It looked like scrappers. Got to watch out for those scrappers. Well, this looks like about as good a spot as any. These are the moments I do enjoy. Lunch is coming. Caleb's grabbing some lunch. I, um... Uh, you know, this job could have went a little better. It's got, it's got good money tacked to it. And there's beauty to it. I mean, it's almost like you're hunting. But, uh, you know, the bolts was a mess up. My fault. The fuses, well, I didn't expect to have to put a fuse in this cabinet. The bubble gum wrapper got me. That was a good one. That was a good one. So that's going to go on the list. Make sure I got fuses next time for whatever reason. And we need some fuses on the truck. Next would be connectors. There might be some. I didn't look hard. But since he's already going to auto store for the fuse, got some connectors. Got some crimps. I know what I need next, too. I can fix that chain. There's no chain break. No chain break on there. Should be a chain break. Thank goodness, so. I ended up replacing the grinder. I don't know if you guys do that or not. I actually will grind the chain. It's just one way, and then you take a screwdriver and pound it off. That's one way to get it without, you know, shorten the chain without if you don't have a chain break. Some of you guys don't even know what a chain break is. I get people all the time, they're like, what's a chain break? I'll show you, if I had one, I don't have one. So it, it's going good though. You know, at least the biggest thing is there's no traffic here. This is kind of a, there's a couple houses across the street, but there's really nobody here. And it's nice, nice little job, really. They're doing addition on it over here. Ugh. Show you. Yeah, they're doing an addition. So you can barely see it, but where that new building, see where my finger's at, right there. That back portion's an addition. So I got an addition going on there. That's obviously some of these were existing for storage. And of course, just like one of those things I tell you guys, there's so much work out there that can be had. The guy tells me, he goes, he goes, hey, he goes, I'm glad you do this. He's like, because we're using this one company and they really stink. And I'm like, don't really, like, we're kind of busy. <laughs> but that could all change with the economy. So you always got to keep the door open. And he said, he, he goes, if you guys are willing to travel a little bit, he goes, I'm willing to pay extra. Mm, we'll see how much you want to pay extra. But I'm just going to hang out here for a few minutes waiting for Caleb to get back with the fuse and uh, just going to enjoy the birds. The birds are chirping. It's a beautiful day. It's not, it's, it could be a little warmer. The sun could be out. There could be like, you know, some drinks, food, but that's coming. But it could be a lot worse. It could be over in another country where stuff's just going <gasps> living on dirt floors. I'm not there yet. Maybe one day. All right, guys. Hit that like button if you don't mind the way out. Become a subscriber so I can stalk you. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for being here. Have a great day.